eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. What's up guys, it's Steel Suede, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing customized oatmeal and customized peanut butter from MyOatmeal.com. So, MyOatmeal.com actually sent me a bag of customized oatmeal and peanut butter, so I really, really want to thank the team over at MyOatmeal.com. I'm very, very thankful and happy to be working with a company I truly believe in, so I'm just glad to be a part of the team. So what we got over here, guys, is, well, a whole bunch of flavors of customized oatmeal. So what it is, it's double peanut butter double fudge brownie oatmeal with banana chips and peanut pieces and something what was it I use Splenda as the sweetener as well and I think that is about it guys and then for what we have in the peanut butter also very very crazy flavors but cookie dough peanut butter and German chocolate cake so I'm really excited to see how these taste it's gonna be great so we're gonna start with the oatmeal guys first of all before I get into how it looks and pretty much how it tastes I want to say I really really like how they put the macronutrients on the back of the bag and I also want to mention if you guys have had regular oats before these are actually lower in carbs which is pretty cool 21 grams of carbs for 40 grams and I have banana chips and pretty much something you expect to be high in carbs but it's not so great macros on these guys for this bag like I said if you want to make my the flavor I made then go ahead like I said um, it's peanut butter German chocolate or no peanut butter, double fudge brownie, and peanut pieces, banana chips, and Splenda. And oh, there's actually whey protein meats, forgot to mention. So like I said, whole wide variety of things we're working with. So the macros are 5 grams of fat, 21 grams of uh, carbs, and 8 grams of protein for this bag. Now, I'm excited to see how this tastes, so let's go ahead and try this out, guys. Let me show you how it looks, by the way. It looks really, really cool. But what you see, you have the banana chips in there and you just pretty much can notice all the flavoring. So it definitely does not look like your average oatmeal. You're really getting what you pay for. So we also got the peanut butter over here. Now remember, this is powdered peanut butter, guys. So what you can do, honestly, you can add water to it. You, you can make peanut butter sandwiches. You can put them on rice cakes. But what I usually like to do is just put them on rice cakes. You can even put the peanut butter just like this, how it is, plain in like some yogurt to flavor up some you know plain Greek yogurt pretty much whatever satisfies your taste buds but that's how these are looking I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in these and try them out guys I'm gonna start out with the oatmeal now what I have is by the way a hundred grams of oats over here so two and a half servings this is my pre-workout meal so I'm trying to get some carbs in but that's two and a half servings and I'm going to use 12 ounces of water so like I said the oats are measured out I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave and I'll show you guys the final product. Alright, just got the oatmeal out of the microwave. First off, I'd love to say that this smells amazing, guys. So let me show you how this looks. As you can see, it is very thick and I love my oatmeal thick. What you can do is add more water if you want a thinner consistency, but I like thick oatmeal, so I'd honestly recommend around four ounces of water per serving, which is 40 grams of oats. It comes out like this, very thick, very tasty. I actually put it in the microwave for four minutes, by the way, if you're wondering. And like I said, there's two and a half servings. If you can see, there's actually peanut pieces in here and there's banana chips. So I'm very excited to try this out. If you're wondering, by the way, why I'm holding it with a pit, with a pit towel, is very hot for the bottom, so. Go <laughs> wow. That's a 10 out of 10. This tastes amazing. Wow. All right, well, I don't know what else to say. It tastes exactly like peanut butter double fudge brownie with peanuts and bananas in it. It's actually very, sweet too. You can kind of taste the protein powder, powder as well, but honestly it's very, very good flavor. It's just, you really taste the flavoring. Let me try one more bite. Recommend. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try the peanut butter out. Now like I said, my favorite way to eat peanut butter is usually just to spread it on rice cakes. So, so what I have right here there's two rice cakes. I'm gonna go ahead and put water in this peanut butter and pretty much get the consistency I want like normal peanut butter. I'm gonna try adding a little bit. 
and go by feel. Alright guys, so this is how the finished product looks like. I recommend putting a few tablespoons, just go by feel, put a little bit and then put a little more. Don't just assume you need like one fourth of a cup or something. Just put a little bit and keep stirring it until it gets thick. And it actually gets thick, like peanut butter consistency. Sometimes powdered peanut butter, they don't tend to really have that peanut butter consistency to it. You know, it's kind of thin. So this is really great, very thick and like I said, exactly like the peanut butter consistency. This is two servings by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this on my two rice cakes and I'm gonna go ahead and try it and give you guys a taste test review. Have the peanut butter spread on the rice cakes. This is how it's looking like. Looks great, can't wait to try this out. But before I take a bite of this, I forgot to show you guys the macronutrients on this. This is not like normal peanut butter where it has a lot of fat. I think around 16 grams for two tablespoons. So what this is, this is half a tablespoon, I think, 14 grams, and you're only getting three fat, seven carbs, and four protein. So very low fat and flavorful peanut butter. Let me go ahead and taste test this. It looks great. I'm not disappointed guys. Tastes very, very good. I only recommend though, don't be like me and pick three, three different flavors. Because for peanut butter, that can kind of turn out weird. But that tastes really good. Don't get me wrong, but I'm getting a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of cookie dough and German chocolate cake. But nonetheless, it tastes amazing. This was my taste test review. Like I said, enjoy the product, it's amazing. That's why I love this company too. Because it caters for people who have celiac disease, who can't eat gluten, just like me. I've had celiac disease for around seven years now, and my life has been a living hell just because I always have to be conscious about what's in my food, and usually gluten-free food isn't this flavorful, it's not this exciting. So, like I said, please check out myoatmeal.com, www.myoatmeal.com. I'll make sure to have a link in the description box. Any celiacs out there, who really are having a hard time finding some good gluten-free products, go check them out. And before I go, if you want to get yourself your very own customizable bag of oatmeal or peanut butter or even both, be sure to use my discount code ASEAL-15. I'll have it right up on the screen over here, but like I said, I'm going to repeat it, ASEAL-15. You guys will save 15% off your entire order when you use this coupon code. So like I said, please just use it. It really supports me. And I really want to thank you guys for listening to this product review. Give it a try, guys. Make up your own flavors. Leave a comment down below with what kind of flavors you guys are going to try out. And I'm really curious to see what kind of combinations you guys have so I can see what you guys make and copy you guys. So thank you so much. This is going to conclude the video. Please be sure to give this video a like. Comment down below share the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel there's plenty more content to come and as always stay strong this is